Hello YouTube. So I've shown you guys how to do the RJ45 plugs and now we're looking at the sockets. Now I like to use these keystone type jacks uh, such as this over here just for simplicity reasons um, they work pretty well. Um, these can be used either in um, normal sort of sockets, uh, wall sockets or they can be used on these surface mount boxes by simply just clipping them on like so and then you pop the cover on when you're done and happy days. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you guys two ways to terminate these keystone jacks. Um, it's quite simple. If you look at the jack you've got your color coding on the jack here on both sides um, and you'll see A and B. You can use either. Just remember that if you use A use A on the patch panel. If you use B use B on the patch panel but for today we're going to use B and we're going to terminate this CAD 5E um, keystone jack and show you guys exactly how it's done. So just a few things that you'll need. You'll need a punch down tool which you can use to terminate in these connections manually or you can use a keystone termination tool. It'll do the job as well. In fact it'll do the job a lot better but um, either way does work 100%. So for today I'm going to show you guys how to use the jack tool, but I'll explain to you how to use the punch down tool as well. It's pretty much the same principle. The punch down tool just means you do it one at a time. This one pretty much technically punches them all down at the same time and cuts them off. Um, this also cuts them off, but like I said, it's one wire at a time. So let's take a look how it's done. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is use a wire stripper. I'm going to strip off some insulation. Don't need to strip a lot, just enough to release the hounds, proverbial hounds. Cut off the rip cord, just like that. And we can get in here. Uh, I don't want to untwist too much wire yet. Okay. And then we can cut it carefully cut off the divider, like so. So we're left with just the cables. Then the simplest thing to do is to set yourself up over here. Now remember we're going with B, so we get orange, green, blue, brown. So orange, green, blue, brown, like so. Right? Then we're going to go green first. So it's green, green, white. So we have to unwind a little bit but not too much. We're going to go green, green white. We're going to go orange, orange white. Just like that. Now these don't particularly work too well for holding in place so you kind of have to push and wrap at the same time just to make sure that they stay in place. Then on this side over here we're going to go blue, blue, white, brown, brown, white. So blue first. Okay, so once you've got them all tucked in, you slot it into your keystone termination tool, like so. And then obviously make sure all your connections are right. And then just give it a squeeze and you'll notice it'll trim off all those wires release okay and there you have a properly terminated keystone jack on the B range okay just like that it's simple effective way of terminating keystone jacks now we're going to clip this into the box and we're actually going to make it into a patch panel because I don't like wastage. So, out in the field, the best way to check that you've, if you, if you haven't done it, you can punch down using this into each terminal. Dup, 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 dup. I'll show you guys how to do that shortly. Um, this cable tie on these is used for holding this wire so you don't get any strain on the joint uh, or where you've punched 
down using your keystone termination tool or your punch down tool and then you put this terminate plastic cap on here which holds the wires in place nicely and of course then you can close your jack and there you have a wall mounted jack ready to be jacked into simple clean and effective right I'm going to show you the more manual punch down method I'm just cutting a piece of cable here all right so we've got our piece of cable the first thing we're going to do is strip said piece of cable so that the insulation is off now I would recommend using a stripper tool but you can do it with just a pair of side cutters if you know what you're doing uh, you take it back clip off that divider and we can get started with the keystone with the wall this isn't a keystone but this jack all right so again we've got our color code for b and we've got our color code for a right now i'm not going to be too concerned about color coding on this specific jack i'm just going to show you guys the methodology for doing the tie down so b We've got green, white, green, blue, white, blue. So we're going to go. Now, one side I'm going to do manually, and then the other side I'm going to do using the auto cut off. So, first we're going to do it with the, the non cutting part of the 110 tool okay so we've got those pushed into place like so Let's see if we can get a bit closer all right as you can see we've got the those ones pushed into place as we need them like so and then you can take your 110 punch down and go through it now remember i'm not using the cutting part portion of my punch down at the moment i'm just using the actual punch down so you guys can see the difference sometimes trying to do this with one hand from the wrong angle doesn't always work well so okay so those four are punched in but as you can see we still have all this sort of slack cable still here which you now have to come along and cut off not that it's a big deal but it does add this sort of extra step to the process again not that it's a big deal so now if we're going to go B we're going to go brown white brown orange white orange like so now this time I'm going to change my tool to if you want to call it the more sort of um, used self cutting blade right so we go like so you make sure the blade is facing the right way right and then you punch now you'll see these do come off some people prefer to um, punch it all down I prefer to punch and take those off while it's holding it in place in case you pull it up slightly now these aren't exactly my favorite jacks just so you know I really don't enjoy using them they don't punch properly or anything but um, yeah there are here yeah. so I'm just kind of showing you how they work right and there you have a properly terminated manually punched down tool now just to see let this focus close this is the side which was self trimmed you can see it's a lot neater and that's the side where I just clipped it off and that's pretty much it for that you can then take this cable push it down into that gap over there and Bob's your uncle. There you have a manually punched down jack. Pop the cover on. 
and off you go, mounted wherever you need it. Very simple. Now, just to show you something, this is the cutting edge of the 110 punch down. Okay. There are two edges. I don't always keep the cutting edge out purely because the sharp edge gets damaged in the toolbox or tool bag. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Your punch down tool. And if you want to go through these again, just to make sure, there's no harm in giving them a smidgen more punch. No harm at all. Okay. So that's it guys. Simply how a manual punch down tool works.